Normally the PPF is a concave shape, but if they tell you that there is a linear PPF, that just means it's a straight line, like the one in this diagram, downward sloping. The first thing is, what is the opportunity cost on this graph? Well, if we want to go from point A to point B, we are making one extra car from zero to one. How many bikes do we have to give up from point A to point B is two from 10 to eight. That is the opportunity cost of making that first extra car. We had to sacrifice, we had to give up two bikes. So we can fill that out below in the first bullet point. In the second bullet point, it says from B to C, what is the opportunity cost? Well, from B to C, again, we're only making one extra car from one to two. Now, how many bikes do we give up? Well, again, it's from eight to six, so that's still two. So we can fill that out in the second bullet point. And this means that as you're going to write, what's happening to the opportunity cost is it's staying constant. Because the slope of a straight line does not change, it stays the same. So the slope is the opportunity cost. You may remember from math, the slope of any line is rise over run or y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. Or you may have learned change in y over change in x, it's all the same thing. As you go from point A to B, what's the change in y is two from 10 to eight. And what's the change in x in the cars is one. So two over one gives us two. That's the opportunity cost. However, what if we wanted to go the opposite way, if we were going from point C to point B? As we go from C to B, now we're making more bikes. How many more bikes? Two. And how many cars do we have to give up to make those two extra bikes? Is we have to give up one car. We go from two to one. We're going the opposite direction. So now instead of doing rise over run, we're doing run over rise. Or instead of change in y over x, we're doing change in x over y. So in this case, that would be one over two, which is 0 0.5 or a half. So we can fill that out in the bullet point underneath. As we go from C to B, to make one extra bike, we have to give up 0 0.5 cars. And then what about from point B to A? It's the same thing. We are making two extra bikes and we have to give up one car from one to zero. So again, it's gonna be one over two. We have to give up one car to make an extra two bikes. So that means it's half a car per bike. For every bike, we have to give up 0 0.5 cars. So no matter which way you're going, the opportunity cost is staying constant because the slope is staying constant. It's just that normally we're going to the right. So as we make more cars, we have to give up bikes. But this is just in case if they ask you the opposite way. If you're making more bikes, then you take the change in cars over the change in bikes. Hey guys, my name is Jess, the head of education here at WISE. I hope you enjoyed this video tutorial. If you want to see the complete course, please check out the link in the description. You can also go to one of our playlists to keep learning for free. If you want us to cover a specific course or a specific topic, please leave us a comment below. We post new videos every week, so don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss out on any of the new stuff.